Well, hell fired is Rock the Riff, and I'm back with another Metalhead Envy. And back with some more band made. I feel like I haven't checked them out in a minute. Uh, I've went through the comments, and it just so happens today that I thought about doing band made, and I haven't been able to go back through the comments and pick one that was more popular. And so I typed in their name. This is the first one that popped up, and I haven't checked it out yet. So. Most band made people have told me, gave me suggestions, which I want that. Keep the suggestions coming, keep commenting, let me know. But every one of them ended basically with saying, it doesn't matter what song I pick from band made, it's fucking awesome. And I'm ready to test that theory. So let's dive on in. Okay. So I did notice this was from seven years ago. So I guess this is one of the earlier outings for these ladies. This looks like a soap opera. Just video quality wise. Like, uh, you know how soap operas have that 60 frames per second, just super high def and like too much. I know most film is at 24 frames. So it's like, it gives it that look. But, uh, I'm digging what we've got so far right here. The only nitpick I can ha hark on is the video. That is a cool riff. I really dig that riff. Uh, Production-wise, this sounds so fucking good. Gosh, this band has a killer sound. Killer sound. I dig the fact that it's not... Uh, I mean, a lot of what I listen to is modern metal, so it's all like super low tune and super drop, and that's my shit, man. That's my jam. But it is so nice to come out of that world and go back into hard rock and have hard rock still hit hard as fuck. Like, this sounds so good. I am digging this track a shit ton. I will say this is the first one I've seen that it seems like they're all wearing made outfits. Like normally it's just that one guitar or the guitarist, the strings. Which I don't think I don't think I've seen the bass player or the drummer in made outfits before, or at least not the classic black and white with the frills on the sleeves and that little hat and all that. I'm trying to tell as I don't know shit about maids. I, I didn't even realize uh, until I think two or three songs, the third reaction I did of band made that I was like, oh, so their dress gimmick is kind of like maids, housemates and stuff. <laughs> that shows you how uh, intelligent I am. Yeah, 
There we go. Shoo. She is my probably my favorite member of this band. Her? I like all of them. Because I sit here and I think about it. All of them bring some crazy cool uniqueness to this band. But the fact is that I would say in Love Bites, Midori and Miyako are the, the MVPs. They shine the most to me personally. When it comes to this band, I would say the bass player and the vocalist shine the most to me personally. The drummer's not far behind, but then I can make the same argument about Love Bites that Haruna in that band is also right there in my top of the top of what I like when it comes to listening to music. But I am so glad we get this little bass section. Please be a long ass bass solo. Okay. Hell yeah. That was a very cool guitar solo. Especially when I sit here and I think in context, y'all have left comments saying that she's only, she didn't really play guitar a lot until this band or something like that something along those lines now that wasn't the most technical savvy but i love the feel of that especially where it came in at that was cool i want to back up i want to hear this section again <laughs> little tap on hammer on Pentatonic run. Okay. So I know this is older, and she's definitely got the, what do they call it? Most guitarists I talk to, they call it the chicken picking thing, kind of. I don't know why they call it that. I've never understood it, but it's that, it's like a, it's like a D chord shape. That was good. Maybe I'm a, I might be over analyzing that guitar solo too much. I like the feel of it. Uh, two thumbs up for me on the solo. Okay. These are some very gorgeous, talented women. And I kind of wish I would have started with this song. I would say to me, love that chorus. Now that I see her, that chorus is really good. Super catchy. There we go. That's the full band, right? Yeah. I dig this. I dig band made. And what's kind of funny, I just, I've been reacting to, uh, like top of the charts and some friend suggestions and stuff. I kind of forgot about band made until today when I was going through looking at, uh, some other band or I was just going through my reactions and seeing out of the more popular ones that I've done, who was supposed to be next on the chart. Chopping block next on the list, 
uh, and Bandmade. I was like, oh, fuck, I haven't listened to Bandmade in a minute, and I am glad I picked Thrill. I really dig this song. I do think it's their most straightforward song I've heard so far. The others have been kind of like, let's be crazy, and I enjoy the crazy a little bit more, but I will say Thrill is fucking awesome, and it is a perfect hard rock song. It's like, I know if I sold this to certain people, I think the biggest struggle to sell this song would not be the music or the talent or the melody, anything. The only thing that would be hard to sell to people is, uh, well, they're speaking Japanese. I can't understand it. And in my case, I could give two shits about what the lyrics really are. I just like the vocal melody. So the language uh, hurdle there isn't really a hurdle for me. But more people should definitely be checking out Bandmade, especially hard rock fans. If you're not into the super heavy, crazy shit, Bandmade should be on your playlist. They are fantastic. Uh, I talk shit about the super high def uh, 60 frames soap opera looking stuff, but I actually kind of dig it. Once I got through the whole music video, being able to see everything just clear as day. I like the setup they're in. This is a cool music video. Like, just the band, no story being told, no craziness. I mean, the subtitle stuff that happened worked perfectly. Um, yeah. Two thumbs up, and if I had another two hands, four thumbs up. Fantastic song, and that just really put a pep in my step for the rest of the day. And with that being said, stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.